Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode of the Weekly Compass, we're going to take a look at the energies for March 22nd through the 28th, 2021. This, of course, is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. I also want to mention that the April forecasts for each life path number are now available. They're on my YouTube channel and my podcast, so go ahead and have a listen to those so that you can plan ahead for the month to come. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. So we start this week off with 22-4 energy. So that's master level energy. And so we may collectively be feeling this this cycle um, more intensely than usual. But anyway, so we've got this this 22-4 energy, which is originality at the forefront. So this is going to be a call to think outside the box and try something new and different. You're encouraged to, again, you know, be quirky, think outside the box, play with those ideas that have been sort of coming in for you, but that have just felt too outside the norm to explore. This is going to be the cycle where you are encouraged to explore. Following the herd at this time will get you the same exact results as the herd. So if that's what you want, then that's fine. That's okay. Follow the herd. But if you have a deeper desire for something more unique and more fulfilling, then you're going to have to break free and forge a new path. Master level energy brings master level challenges, but also master level rewards. So it's entirely up to you, but I feel like we're going to be feeling this master level energy quite intensely at the beginning of the week. As we end the week, we hit this 28-1 energy. And what's interesting is this is also another pioneering energy. So we kind of see this... um, this mixture this week of being asked to step outside the box, to think outside the box, to be inventive, to come up with new ways of doing things that weren't working in the past or that were sort of just working. And again, just being creative and just exploring that more creative side of yourself. This can be, you know, it doesn't necessarily just have to be work related. It can be with relationships, with, you know, how you show up creatively in your life, whatever the case may be, but it's just this point, we're going to see this strong energy this week of exploring and then taking action on something different, something new, okay? Something, you know, something that ignites a spark within you and that might look different than what you're used to seeing. Okay, so with this 28 one energy, this is going to be, you know, an energy that with boldness and courage, you will be the master of your fate and the sovereign of your world. So this is a time to take big, bold action and pioneer something magnificent into your life. This is going to be a time when a positive, direct approach to life will bring many bountiful rewards to all that you initiate at this time. So dream big. Those ones, the, that one energy, that one cycle is all about taking action, you know, thinking big, thinking bold, you know, taking bold action and not being so concerned about what other people think, but that you're really an idea or, um, you know, an inspiration comes to you and you explore it and you take action on it to see where it leads you. There's none of that making yourself small to make others comfortable with this energy. So this is also going to be a time around the Libra full moon. So you may see an opportunity arise that allows you to collaborate with others on these great big ideas. So if something surfaces for you that feels like you need some help to make it happen, this could be a time where you see people enter your life that will be the ones that hold the additional resources to help you make that happen, okay? We are in the age of Aquarius, so this is all about starting new, you know, new big inventive things that will, you know, that will sort of break the mold, right? We're kind of overdoing things the way that we've always done them and getting the same results. It's time for something new. So I think we're going to see in this, during this week, from start to finish, 
opportunities and inspirations come in that allow us, if we say yes, to take the lead in that and within our own lives. So really beautiful energy this week. As I look, as I break down the um, the week energetically, I see that the beginning of the week, we have this, this feeling of like almost being afraid to share your ideas or afraid to sort of break free from that mold or step outside of the box. And with, especially with one energy, one, fours, eights, I mean, everybody, but those, you know, those people, especially twos, you know, and then your master numbers, the, those energies often have a hard time sort of sharing their ideas or taking action on those big ideas when they're outside the box because of fear of being judged or fear of failure or whatever the case may be. And I'm just kind of seeing this energy at the beginning of the week of like collectively there being this energy of like trying to make yourself into this little ball, like trying to make yourself small because you're afraid of sharing those ideas simply because you may have a lot of self-doubt or you may feel like you're afraid of being uh, criticized or judged, which is, you know, nobody likes to go through that. But sometimes we have to go through that to understand that those critiques, those judgments, oftentimes have no bearing on our capabilities, right? So there's just this energy of like, if you can just, you know, open yourself up a little bit to these, these ideas, these opportunities that are coming in for you, and play outside the box a little bit and color outside the lines, right? That is going to bring you a lot of joy. It's going to let your soul sing. So it's kind of like, I go back to that saying of like, you know, stop saying no to what your soul wants to say yes to simply because it may be misunderstood or misinterpreted by the external world. This is going to be a time where it's all about ingenuity you know, following those big, bold visions and taking action on those big, bold visions, okay? You don't have to do things the way they've always been done because as you know, as if we continue to do that, then we get the same results. And I think we can see, you know, collectively that a lot of those those results that we've been getting just are not working anymore. We, we are evolving and expanding and, you know, raising our consciousness too quickly for any of that stuff to really hold. So this is going to be a time to really think outside the box. And if we can do that and allow ourselves the freedom to sort of open ourselves up and shine, then we're going to, that's where we're going to find the most joy and the most harmony and the most peace with ourselves. Okay. So this beginning of the week, I just see maybe even in more of like an internal struggle of like something comes in for you and you really are excited about it, but you're, you're letting the fear of what others may think or that this is going to be different than what others have done um, to trip you up. And so it's just a matter of trying to quiet that noise, coming back to yourself and asking yourself, what do I want and how can I pursue this in a way that makes me feel good? Then we move into midweek, and this is interesting. I almost see this could be like a new relationship for some people. This could be like a new partner coming in for you, like very soul aligned, um, soulmate, whatever. So that could be for some of you. For others of you, I'm really getting this energy around like a business partner or somebody to collaborate with or work with because I see like resources involved. Um, and so it's kind of like, the coming together of you and this other person, and it doesn't have to be, um, again, romantic, but like the coming together almost is like a spark of uh, a future potential for something business related, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like, again, I had mentioned around we're entering into the Libra new or full moon. And so it could be that, and it, you know, with it being, an opportunity for potential to collaborate. It could be that at this time, that person or those people come in for you and it just feels like you've known them. It feels like this is somebody you're meant to, that you basically have already had a contract with to work with in this lifetime. And now the timing is right. And so the two of you will meet. Um, again, though, this could be just purely romantic. And the two of you, again, have a soul contract and this is a soulmate of some sort and you guys come together. 
So yeah, I, but I do really, for a lot of you, I'm feeling like this is a business interaction, like a business partnership. And this could be like you getting a job offer or something like that as well, um, where you just really click with the your manager or the people on your team, which is really beautiful. So anyway, so that could be coming in for some midweek. Then at the end of the week, we're back to that that 28-1 energy of that, you know, pioneering, visionary, you know, that's just going to strike out and do big things. And this is just the energy that's really strong at the end of the, the week. So it's kind of like, again, taking the lead in something. I'm definitely getting like leadership vibes. So it's kind of like, but finding your balance, right? Like not overworking yourself or spreading yourself too thin or whatever. It's great to have these big ideas and these big visions, but you also have to sort of temper and moderate, you know, as you move along so that you don't burn out. So I'm just seeing this energy of like you, where at the beginning of the week, you might've been a little bit more hesitant to share or um, open yourself up to these ideas. I feel like at the end of the week, it's like you're, you're kind of like, I've got this and I really want to pursue this. So I'm going to pursue it. And you're taking the lead in whatever this is and finding your balance as you move forward. And I feel like if you can do that, if you can take the lead right within your own life in that sense and go after those things that you really want and begin to figure out what that looks like for you and how, what those steps may entail, I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of, um, security and stability so this is going to be something like you're building something sustainable that will last the test of time but that also has the potential to bring you a lot of um resources and financial security okay so this does feel physical in that sense um but it's really you know even if it's not career oriented or you know around money or that sort of thing it really does what the, the biggest part of this energy feels like you taking the lead within your own life and not being so concerned about what other people think or other people judging you for taking that that role right for fully stepping into that role within your own story. So I'm seeing that really, really strongly that the energy is there and supportive for you to fully embrace who you are and what you came here for. OK, or at least open yourself up to starting to receive those insights. OK, but not so much tailoring what you do and what you say and how you show up around how it will be judged or critiqued. OK, or what is expected of you type thing. So really, really powerful energy this week about um, autonomy and um, standing in your power and following your dreams and you know, again, taking the lead, you know, taking that leadership role within your own life. So, whew, a lot going on. But, you know, I'm not really surprised to see that when we're in this sort of master level energy of that 22-4. So these are things that, you know, that encompass that energy. So, but powerful, powerful week ahead. I hope it's a beautiful one for all of you. Definitely, you know, harness this energy the best that you can and try to work with it in a way that propels you forward in your own way. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye for now.